We're grateful here at Muscle Car of the Week that a lot of people enjoy our videos, and every once in a while we like to stop down and kind of see what people think is popular. And one way to do that is to look at the top video play counts of our videos found on our Muscle Car of the Week channel. This is not a super official uh, thing, uh, only because just because a certain video got more plays than another one doesn't mean it's a better car or a cooler car or a better video. It just kind of means that it got shared more and more people have seen it. However, it is kind of neat to see how things stand. So today we're going to look at the top five cars by video play count from our Muscle Car of the Week YouTube channel. Ready? In the number five slot is this top banana yellow 1970 Dodge Super B. This is such a cool car. Uh, yellow on the outside, white on the inside. It's powered by a 440 six pack with the pistol grip four speed. It's a very muscular car and a not very muscular color, but you can find it in episode number 21 of Muscle Car of the Week. Our number four in our top five muscle cars by play count is a 1969 Hearst Olds. Now this car is kind of cool because it's, it's almost like a specially built version of a Cutlass that was put together by the Hearst team. Partially built on the Oldsmobile assembly line, but it came with options that you couldn't get on a regular Cutlass or a 442, like the 455 cubic inch engine, first of all. And it was loaded with all kinds of other luxury stuff, so that it's a car that not only goes fast, but it's also very comfortable. And a lot of people like this Oldsmobile. They ranked at number four by play counts. You can see this one in episode number 69 of Muscle Car of the Week. Next up, we verify the classic head-to-head -head rivalry of the 69 Camaro versus the 69 Mustang. In episode number 266 of Muscle Car of the Week, we compared a 69 SS 396 Camaro versus a 428 Mustang Mach 1, and people immediately took sides. This isn't a head-to-head -head drag race or performance test because we just didn't have the real estate to do it, but we do compare all the specs of these two cars and invite our viewers to pick which one is their favorite. Again, you'll see that in episode 266 of Muscle Car of the Week. And Mustang fans apparently really like watching videos because our number two position of our top five on Muscle Car of the Week is a 2016 Shelby GT350R. Now this one, uh, we stepped out of our comfort zone a little bit to show another late model performance car, but what a special car these GT350s really are. There are all kinds of performance tricks on this. Of course, the flat plane crankshaft and the giant carbon fiber wheels and special brakes and things inside the car that make it unique as a Shelby GT350. This one was also kind of polarizing. There are those who purely like traditional muscle cars and those who think, hey, we like the new technology as well. You can voice your opinion and check this car out in episode number 229 of Muscle Car of the Week. And in our current top five, which I might add could always change, depends on who watches and who shares, uh, but our number one top five on the Muscle Car of the Week channel is from episode number 179, and it's a 1967 Shelby GT500. So two Shelbys in the top five, and this one's a little bit different because the 67 GT500 came with a 428 cubic inch engine, but this one, well, it's got a 427 side oiler something not offered by Shelby. So what's the story? Well, you'll have to watch the episode to see. We appreciate everybody checking out our videos week after week, and uh, we'll continue to monitor and see which ones are most popular. Like I said, it doesn't mean that these are the coolest cars in the collection. It's just some of the most popular videos. But by sharing them with your friends, you might be able to boost your favorite car. We'll be back next time with another great car from the Brothers Collection on Muscle Car of the Week.